How's it going everybody? Rich with Elevate and today I am going to bring you guys one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wow, it's like I think we have right here. Let me go up and scroll down some more. And today is lit. The market is absolutely on fire right now. I'm going to be bringing you. Let me just see here. Woo. Holy moly. I do this for product management as well. So when I get to the product side, that's when I realize, okay, I've gone too far. Uh, wow. We've got off the top of my head right now, 60 some new postings uh, that's going up. So if you guys want to get list to uh, the list to all of these, give me a second here, let me move this out of the side. I have everything for you here deployed in our little air table and the best part is this. We have everything deployed for you right here in school and as of right now it's only gonna cost you one dollar so see you in school, don't be late to school. Uh, with that said, let's go ahead and I'm going to go out there and run you through this. We have all these companies that are hiring for roles right here. And the thing that's really important to track is that if they're posting up live, the next thing is you really want to go ahead and get to these postings before other people do. Now, it's really also important for you to read these postings as well. So sometimes you'll get the very, very obvious, this is why you need to get access to our Airtable is Improvata is looking for a sales development representative. And when you go out there and click, uh, when you go ahead, and this actually just went down about, uh, I would say 49 minutes ago, right? So if I copy the link to the post, and I go ahead and I pop up a new one, a new market right here, I'm just gonna go out there and see that Improvata here, it's a tech company, it's a tech SDR role. You wanna go ahead and you wanna message them. This is actually very, very, very fresh, 57, six minutes. So why you need to go ahead and get access uh, uh, to our Airtable because you're gonna go ahead and just get access to it first before everybody else does. But when we take a look at all these different save posts, sometimes these are very, very like, it's very in your face where it's like, I'm hiring, I'm hiring, I'm hiring. But sometimes what our team is very good about doing is it'll say, hey, we're hiring, but it looks like, you know, you gotta really go out there and source into it and then you gotta take a look at, let's talk about sales. Emily Liu, our VP of sales, leads the team, and this is the only person to listen to, right? You wanna go ahead and find that person and go ahead and reach out to them. That level of detail is gonna really differentiate you because most people are just blowing up the job boards, which I'm not telling you to stop doing, but you wanna go ahead and actually reach out to these roles, uh, uh, reach out directly to the hiring managers. I've personally gotten these roles before uh, when I was looking for a job, pinging the hiring manager directly. You also have uh, Windfall. Windfall has been hiring for, m I see multiple hiring managers posting for this, which is always a good sign. The other thing is like, people always ask me this. They're like, hey Rich, if I see three separate hiring managers hiring for the same role, which one should I go ahead and reach out to? All of them. Rich, if I see the same hiring manager opening up, like they have a SDR for this product line, they have a SDR for this product line, they have a SDR for this product line. Because imagine Google, Google has like Google Maps, Gmail, or Google Pay. It's like, does it make me look desperate? And I'm just giving out a random example. Does it make me look desperate if I hit up separate roles, but this person's like, oh my gosh, I have three, I posted up for three sales roles or three whatever roles, should I go out there and hit up? The answer is also yes. You all, anytime job hunting is sales, it is business development, it is lead generation. Anytime you're thinking whether or not you should hit up a role, you should just hit it up. But the more important thing is, you also wanna go ahead and you wanna create a little follow-up section here where you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna follow up with the role. And I'm gonna start adding up some messages right here. So I'm just gonna go out there and take a look at my, my, uh, uh, my little air table follow-up message one and you want to have the follow-up date too so follow-up date
And then you want to know what else you want to do? You want to go ahead and you also want to go and follow it up with them again. So there's the follow up message too. And then you want to have a follow up message. What? You want to also go out there and have the date. Because so many people, they're constantly hitting up the new roles and new roles and new roles and new roles and new roles. And, new roles. and I'm telling you why that's problematic. They're like, oh my gosh, like that's all we got today. That's all we got today. What about all the ones that we got up here and up here and up here? How long have you been on the job hunt, right? 30 days goes by like that. We only get 12 of these a year. I'll give you a very perfect example. I've been referencing this company nonstop because I was recently hosting a training. And uh, if you take a look at this, take a look at all the posts, right? And you come down here and you'll see Five months ago, they said they were posting, hey, we're hiring for salespeople to join our team. I say this, but very few people actually go ahead and do it. Hey, seven months ago, we're hiring. You wanna know what they're seeing right now? Hey, as of 17 hours ago, they're hiring again. <laughs> so before you know it, like you really wanna go out there and hit up all these other roles, because why? 80% of the roles are not even posted yet. They're just literally talking in a meeting like, hey, should we get roles posted? So you should be posting up, you should be getting to those roles before they even get out on the job boards because you want to know why? As soon as it comes here, you can have a bunch of people saying, I'm interested, which is the worst message out there for a salesperson to go out there and say, no shit, you're interested. You're looking for a job, <laughs> right? Uh, we're hiring in spirit senior living. I don't know if that's a tech SDR role. But the base salary seems to be pretty juicy, uh, and it is entry. And they did say like we're looking for people that's looking to break into sales, eighty to eighty thousand potential bonus, eight thousand annually. Uh, you get a fifty month, a fifty dollar a month phone stipend, and you get three hundred dollars a month travel stipend with the full benefits package. So potential bonus of up to eight thousand annually. So you add that up, boom! Now all of a sudden you're at six figures, right? Uh, so if you take a look at this. Why not? We also have another role uh, coming to Toto Toronto, salesperson looking for BDR. This is also another thing that I get hit up a lot. I really wanted to save this role. This is for our Canadian, for our folks in Canada. We have not forgotten about you. Uh, but what I'm starting to see a bigger overlap of is this. A lot of Canadian companies are opening up roles for the US-based talent because there's a lot of really hot talent in the US because this is the most competitive market ever. But I'm also seeing a lot of US-based talent, US company, tech companies that are opening up to Canadian-based talent. So, you know, anytime you're thinking, should I hit it up? The answer is always yes. Secondly, I'll tell you guys why. Some people are also telling me, asking me this question like, Rich, but it says BDR, three plus years of experience. Some people that are looking to transition into tech sales transitioning into tech sales is also like they have sales background, but they don't have tech sales background, right? So anytime you're thinking about whether or not you should reach out, the answer is always yes. And this is why doing it in a community is so important. If I'm telling you this video here is free, <laughs> that air table is a dollar. If you're doing it by yourself, let me tell you something. This is why CrossFit works as a business. <laughs> If you're looking at these roles yourself, like, huh, okay, huh, what do they, the first thing you're gonna do here is, say the guy was based in the US. You're gonna open up his LinkedIn profile, you're gonna go out there and take a look, you're gonna go out there and say, oh, what does this company do? Oh, am I qualified? Okay, so you're not qualified, right? Let's take a look at this, we're hiring a lot. My team is hiring for sales and, and customer uh, 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 salespeople for uh, tax season at, at the Growing Collective. All these different roles are hiring. If you are, okay, MongoDB, rapidly growing, looking for account development representatives to go out there and join our world-class uh, sales team, right? Uh, Atlanta, Austin, Boston, oh man, but I have to go back into the office. If you're looking for all of these different roles, multiple, uh, multiple locations, sales development representatives uh, for job form, okay, tech company. If you're looking for all these reasons to not apply, you want to know what ends up happening. You're you're building up this muscle where you're thinking to yourself, shit's not going to happen. 
and you're looking for all the reasons why this is not going to work out. And what ends up happening is you start feeling very negative very quickly. You want to know why? Because you're like, there's no interviews, there's no interviews, there's no interviews. Meanwhile, our people are aggressively applying. They're getting a lot of interviews. And sometimes, yeah, they get a few interviews in there that are not tech sales. Sometimes they get a few interviews that are not even in country. Sometimes they get a few interviews that have to require them to go into a hybrid work environment or go into the office. And it may not even be in that city. But you know what they're getting in? They're getting in their reps. So they did six or five, five or six really shitty interviews for companies they didn't really even want to work for anyways. So even if all of these tech positions, uh, all of these SDR positions was like tech, all of these positions were remote, here's the thing. Your conversion rate, you got to think about this as a salesperson, your conversion rate is still what? One out of six, one out of 10, one out of 12, one out of 15. Do you even know what your conversion rate is? That's a problem, but you're not getting enough reps. So when you customize your resume for that one perfect job, you wanna ha know what happens? One of our folks <laughs> that's coming out of our program, okay, is grabbing that job at HubSpot because you wanna know why they're gonna sound 50 times better than you on the phone. They're gonna be way more confident. And while you're spending your time debating whether or not you can even get that interview, Somebody else in our program is going to go ahead and grab that interview. They're going to go out there and pitch themselves. They're going to go out there and find themselves so much better because they're going to ask the same freaking questions. Tell me about yourself. Why do you want to work at this company? Okay, give me a scenario where you have to do this. If we have a, if we're low on sales and we're a little bit behind on quota, what would you go ahead and do? How would you go ahead and answer this question? Well, I have to think about it. That's the same shit across the board. So if, you, if you're wasting your time, <clears throat> a lot of people that are applying without the, our help, they're spending one hour of their time, probably 50 minutes doing research, less than 10 minutes applying. And you know what our people are doing? They're applying. So this is why they're getting multiple interviews, and this is why they're getting multiple offers, and this is why they're getting into the best freaking companies. Uh... Right here, the go-to marketing team uh, at SmartPass is growing. We have two open roles for BDRs. Here's another thing. A lot of times people that are breaking into tech sales, let's just say you don't even have any tech sales experience. You're like, should I go for this BDR position? I thought I had to be an SDR before. Uh, I, thought, I thought I'd be an SDR before I could be a BDR. What's the narrative that you want? Go in there and crush it, <laughs> right? You wouldn't work any harder or any less hard for a BDR role versus another any other role. So you could be that story where you go in there and you absolutely crush the interview. So if I tell you that, you're going to be like, yeah, that's true. But I'm just too much of a chicken shit to do it. And I totally empathize with that because we've all been there. This is why you need a community of people where you guys are applying together. Because when you're doing it by yourself, you just have so much procrastination and you have so much anxiety. The three things that are gonna go out there and kill any sales job, anybody that's working a sales job is procrastination, perfectionism, and analysis paralysis. And when you're applying to jobs by yourself, you've got too much freaking time to do all three at the same damn time, <laughs> especially in a fully, work, uh, uh, a fully remote work environment, right? For our UK folks, I thought I'd throw in one UK job in there. Uh, we're hiring, see if you, uh, DocuPhase, Marketing Manager, Account Manager, BDR, CSR. Uh, this company right here, Calaris, looking for a highly results-driven business development representative. Uh, Dynamics Logistics, business development representative. Seamless AI, we are hiring for remote, uh, remote SDRs. This is my point exactly. You find the company that is hiring full remote and it's doing something really cool like AI. But how many reps did you get in, right? Before you go out there and you close that one person. So if you wanna go ahead and increase your conversion ratio, well, number one, you need to know your conversion ratio. That's why you need to track it, okay? That's why we track, 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 <laughs> okay? All the way down here, I already got a batch of rolls up for uh, 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 10, 11. But with that said, you know, all of these rolls here, you got to be ready for it. 
So we have more than enough roles that you guys can go out there and see all these. We're reaching out to all these hiring managers ourselves to go out there and grab those hiring partnerships for you. And that's the other thing. People are like, you know, can you introduce me? If we introduce you to a company in the next 20 minutes, what is your confidence level that you're going to be able to convert that interview into an offer? Right. That's a fact. Like people aren't going to give you a job just because you need one, just because you say you're going to work hard. Your energy never lies. When you're on that interview, how confident are you and able to actually go out there and take it out? That's up for you to decide, and that's honestly something that you know, and it comes down to what? Getting, okay, getting a high number of uh, applications out. And why do people not have more applications? Their resume looks like shit. Their pitch is off. They don't follow up. So all of these things go back to just basic foundation, like sales fundamentals. And then they go on the interview, they perform like shit, they get rejected, so they feel like shit. And then they get another interview, and then they go out there, and that interview opportunity goes to shit. If you're doing a lot of applications every single day because you're having fun, you're doing it in a group, you're seeing other people take interviews, that way it reinforces in your mind, all right, companies are hiring, I mean, I got to go out there and get ready. And you're hearing from other people how they're doing on these interviews. And you're also hearing from other people like how well they're doing, like which companies are like horrible to interview at. Oh my gosh, I had a complete shit time. That's why you don't want to go out there and just take a job for just, take, just taking a shitty job. All of a sudden, boom. Boom. <laughs> you start seeing shit happen. That's when you're racking up 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 interviews like a week. You're feeling better. Okay, you're doing that on your own desk, and then afterwards, companies that we're introducing you to, they want to go ahead and talk to you too, uh, because you've been doing very well. You're going in those interviews feeling very well. You're going to go out there and you're going to crush these awesome roles. Uh, so all of a sudden, when companies are asking you like, "Hey, like, wow, this person's," I thought like we're interviewing for SDRs. I think this person's better fit for a BDR position. Why not? Meridian's hiring for our first BDR. Why not go out there? Uh, kickstart your sales career here. Uh, Schoolytics, our team is growing. We're hiring a second SDR. Reach out. So all these roles here, I'm getting it onto this air table. My team's going to go out there and scrape out all that information from you. If you don't take this sales job by Halloween, honestly speaking, I have no sympathy for you because you're choosing not to. You have this resource here for a dollar, and that's for us to prevent the spammers from coming into our community. But get applying, get the group, meet up with other people, start practicing your interviews, start practicing your pitch. Let's land this job by Halloween. Uh, I can go through the rest of this list, but honestly speaking, it just comes down to whether or not you're ready to apply. And get your resume reviewed and ready to go. Because otherwise, <laughs> You're not going to be like, otherwise, like, bro, <laughs> you have like the winning opportunity in front of your face. How confident are you being able to take it down? We got 40, 50 plus postings right here, as you guys can see, all recently posted. And even if they're like, oh, yeah, it's like someone was like, oh, yeah, they're like they posted up two weeks ago. The job's still open <laughs> and they're going to hire more. So we've had plenty of people that's followed up with companies that had open roles up in February, in March, in April, that boom, they were able to go ahead, they were able to go ahead and actually get more interviews. Uh, they were able to go out there and take jobs that way. Are you guys doing it? So let's get it, let's get it, let's get it ready to go. Uh, my name is Virtual with Elevate. Subscribe so we can ping you about the latest postings. Let's get it.